creating a new set of uh, drawing of 500 again on this distribution and calculate the numbers here and now it's a different number right because every time that you do that process it's never going to be exactly the same now it's 99.09981 right so it's slightly different a new 500 randomly created numbers give me a slightly different mean slightly different standard deviation right again 40.97 close to 15 but it's every time you're extracting from a population you're never going to get clear to the theoretical exactness right redraw that histogram, slightly change in shape, right? But the point is now if we were to try to say, well, having generated those 500 numbers, if I were randomly took samples from that, what's going to happen, right? So I need a few lines of code to do that, basically, for you with this, but that's setting uh, A saying, okay, I'm going to take samples of five, and all I need to do is change that number of time. Mu now being for the distributional means of samples, uh, 100 and sigma 15, so it's the same characteristics. Um, we need a kind of loop uh, space to create this, and we need to kind of loop through it to do it. Um, don't worry about this code too much. But basically that's what I'm saying. Okay, I've now, through those few lines of code, taken out of those um, points that we've got here, randomly take five, and see what happens, and average those, and um, plot that average, then what do I get when I do that? Now, much more reduced in its um, standard deviation. All right? The mean for it now is 99.539. Right? So it's that process of doing many samples and averaging those. Close. But now the important point is this far less frequent variation, right? 6.7. What about if I increase the size? Now I'm making it. Um, 10. If I do it again now with 10 in the numbers, just running the thing, now look what happens. Yeah? You can see it compact again around the, for the uh, a lot less variance in there. And what are the numbers now for the 500 times that it's doing very, very quickly for me. It's not the same number, 99.53. The first time when it's a sample to 5, now it's sample to 10, 99.94, right? That slightly goes from more, more accurate, more data points there effectively. But now the a big drop in the standard deviation again, right? From 6.7 to 4.8, okay? This is the idea that happens, what I want you to understand, how it's having this impact on the amount of variance one more time with sample 20. Then, where's the histogram? Uh, yeah, okay, the, the histogram is even narrower. And now, what are the numbers? Again, taking 20 out of it, and 9.82. All right, so again, it's very sometimes we'll slightly closer, something not. More consistently getting those numbers. Now, 3.41. Right? So, impact on the standard deviation of 